Hi everyone, in this video we are going to make a navigation bar using HTML, CSS and grid. So previously we have seen how to make navigation bar using CSS Flexbox. But this time let me show you how to make a nav bar using CSS grid. So this is what we are going to make. We have this logo and this menu link and we have some text. So this layout is using CSS grid. So let me show you if I right click and inspect. So this is the markup. If I expand on this body tag and click on this grid button here, this will show us the grid. So we have used 12 column grid to lay out this page. Also this page is uh, completely responsive. So if I shrink down the page, you will see our navigation bar changes. We have this hover effect over the links. So this is how a page will look like in mobile version. And this is the one in the desktop version. So let's start making this. So here I've opened up VS code as my text editor. In this I've opened up a folder called five. And in here we have some uh, different files like index.html in which we'll write the HTML markup, style.css in which we'll write the style and an image, two image, the background and the logo and a readme file. This is the link from where I've downloaded the background image. So first let's write the basic structure of any web page. So I'm using emmet. So write exclamation mark and press tab. So this will insert the basic structure of any HTML5 page. So let's write navbar example 5. And then I'm going to link the style.css file. So link href will be style.css. And then let's write the HTML5 markup. So first I'm going to create a container. This will be a grid container. This will be divided into 12 parts, 12 columns, which will be used to lay out the content. And then I'm going to create a div with a class logo. And inside this, I'll use an image tag. The source will be this logo.png. And in the alternative text, I'll write logo. Then I'm going to create the UL, an ordered list for the menu items. In here, I'll write home. I'm going to duplicate this four times. This will be about. This will be blog. Testimony and contact. And finally, outside this container, I'm going to create a H1 tag. And here I'll write Earth, our home. I'm going to give a position absolute to this H1 to place it at the center of the page. This is just for decorative purposes. The main area that you should focus on is how to create the navigation bar. Then in the style of CSS file, let's first include the font that we are going to use for this project. So this is the font called Comforta. You can find this in Google font. Click here click on get family get embed code and just copy this and paste it at the top then let's uh, reset the margin and padding the margin will be zero on every element using the universal selector then padding will be zero and box sizing will be border box then I'm going to target the body tag and I'll set a background to black. The color of the text will be white. Font family. This one and the fallback will be sans serif. The height of the body will be 100 VH and and width will be 100% background URL will be this uh, bg.png background size will be cover background position will be center and background repeat property will be no repeat so this is just for decorative purposes. So we have this background. 
now let's position the h1 i'll set position absolute top will be 50 percent left will be 50 percent transform translate minus 50 percent minus 50 percent font size will be 4 rem i'll give it a padding all around padding 16 pixel let's set the font weight to 700 and background color will be white and the color of the text i'm overriding it will be black so the body has a background this color white i am overriding here so this is the cascade effect then i'm going to target the a tags the color will be white and i'll set the font size to 1.2 ram so now let's work on the navigation bar so here first i'll target the container that is the parent div and i'll set it to display grid and then i'll specify how many columns i want so for this i can write grid template columns and in here i'll use the repeat function 12 1 fr so here 12 means i want this one fr one fractional unit to be repeated 12 times so after setting this if i go to my browser and right click and inspect you will see a grid button here if you toggle this you can see we have this 12 column grid let me change this to just show you let's say six column so now we have one two three four five six column grid so i'll set this to 12 1 fr and then i'll write a property to align the content of this grid vertically for this i'll write align items center so this logo will get vertically aligned after this i'll write padding top and bottom 16 pixel and right and left zero to give some padding from the top let's work on the logo so logo so here i'm going to use the property called grid column to place this logo in the grid so these are the line numbers this one two three these are the line numbers and this space is the column so i want my logo to start from this line number two and go till line number three so i can write simply grid column two forward slash and three so let me add a background to our logo just uh, so that you can see easily so background color will let's say teal so this is the logo that starts from two second line number and expands till three if i change this to let's say six it will expand till line number six so i want it to expand till three i'm going to remove this background then let's work on the ul likewise i'll use grid column and i'm going to set the ul from line number 8 to line number 12 so line number 8 till line number 12 let's add a background so our ul starts from line number 8 and goes till line number 12 now let's work on the li so ul li list style type none display will be inline block to make the list item arrange in a horizontal manner and finally what i want is to place this ul at the end so what i can do is i can write here justify self end so this will place the ul at the end 
now i'm going to set some margin margin left so margin left will push this uh, allies to the left so i'll write margin left 24 pixel so we have this margin let me remove the background color so we have created the nava for the desktop version now let's create the nava for the mobile version so let's shrink the page let's say below 600 pixel i want to activate the nava for the mobile version for this i'm going to write media queries so write media only screen and max width 600 pixel so when the device screen is less than 600 pixel this media query will get activated now what i want is to make uh, the width of the child element span across the entire screen so this will this logo will take up this block and this ul will come down so for this i can write grid column i want to start from the line number one and i want to go up to line number 13 i need to add a space here so we have this logo occupying the entire width of the screen let me add a background color just to make it clear so this logo is taking up the entire width now if i change this to let's say 12 you will see that the logo starts from 1 and go up to 12 so this is one way to write this there is another way i can write grid column i'll use span and then i can write 13 so this is another way so it will take up 13 lines then let's work on the ul so ul i'll set the grid column to take up the entire width of the screen let's see so we have this ul taking up the entire width then i will set the display property of the ul to block so that uh, we have this list item vertically and then I'm going to set the width of the UL to 100% let me show you why I'm doing this if I remove this and add a background color you'll see that UL is only this much the width of the UL is only this much so I want this to take up the entire sc screen so I'll set the width to 100% and then i am going to so if you see we have the entire bit then i'm going to add padding all around padding i'm going to add 16 pixel and then let's add the and finally let's add the hover effect so you will li hover i'll change the background color to white and i'll set a transition 0.5 second all is in out and let's see what happens so we have this hover effect but our text is not visible so i'll write ul li when this is hover i want to change the color of a i'll set the color to black and i'll set a transition property 0.7 second all is in out and uh, so this is the hover effect now let me place this logo in the center so what i can do is just write text align center so this is the navigation bar that we have created using css grid i hope you like this video 
if you do please hit like and also subscribe to my channel and i will see you later